here are two different laser pointers. Um, this laser pointer was purchased on eBay, uh, a cheap Chinese pointer. This pointer was uh, purchased at Radio Shack, and uh, and both of them are um, supposed to be five milliwatt pointers, five milliwatts or less. Um, but as you can see, they look about the same when you shine them on the uh, on a surface. Um, the difference, however, is that the uh, cheap pointer that was purchased on eBay does not have uh, a filter to block out the infrared component within the beam. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to take a lens, a Plano convex lens, uh, right here. Okay, and let me move this in closer. This uh, black thing right here is a uh, case that I keep my reading glasses in, uh, flat black in color. And if you look right here, let me let me try to get this in focus here. Okay, now here is the proofs in the pudding. I'll put the laser up there. And uh, and as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of smoke coming off there. So that's the infrared. It it burns, and it's not supposed to do that. It's only supposed to be you know five milliwatts or less legal limit. Uh, so that shows why these cheap pointers are so dangerous. Now, just for good measure, here's the Radio Shack pointer, and uh, to show you the difference. And you see the Radio Shack pointer will not burn. So, this next experiment involves a small, uh, specially prepared camera, a webcam uh, that I... Uh, turned into an infrared camera and you can see it right there it's pointed at this uh, it's pointed at this black screen over here and the camera um, what it's seeing is shown on this uh, screen here on the computer now this right here is an infrared filter it's a filter that completely blocks all visible light and only passes infrared and as you can see as I put it over this camera right here that I'm recording the video with it totally blocks the light. Okay, I had to change a few things. The camera's been repositioned here. The uh, blinds have been drawn so it'll be darker. And the computer and uh, the camera are both closer to the target. Now, you can see the computer there uh, and the target at the same time. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna take the, the ordinary Radio Shack uh, green pointer and you shine it on there, you get a green beam. Now I'm gonna put the green filter over it to show the difference. Nothing. But notice here, you see the green beam on the computer monitor and uh, uh, in, the, in the video itself. Now, let's take the other pointer. If you shine it on there, it pretty much looks the same. Uh, you can see it on both. But now, I'm going to put the filter over this to block out the green light entirely. And when I do, notice that on the computer, notice that. There's still a white dot on there but yet it's totally invisible to the ordinary camera. Totally invisible. And totally invisible to my eye, too, I might add. So, here is the typical green laser pointer. I drew a little diagram to illustrate it. And what you have is a laser diode here, a high-power laser diode. And this laser diode generates an output in the invisible infrared at around 808 nanometers. That output is then used to pump a second laser. And the second laser here generates, it's a crystal, it generates an output at around 1064 or 1064 nanometers in the infrared. And you also have a second crystal here, which converts the 1064 nanometers into the visible 532 nanometers in the uh, green range of wavelengths, which we see uh, in the output. 
Now, the way this works is you've got a mirror back here, and it's designed to reflect 1,064 nanometers, but past the 808 nanometers from the laser diode. And you got a mirror on this other end here, and this mirror is designed to uh, reflect 1,064 nanometers, but pass 532 nanometers from this crystal. And these mirrors are necessary on the end, because without them, you won't have feedback for this crystal, and uh, it won't be able to laze. So you're pumping this crystal with the output from the diode laser. The 1064 is trapped between these two mirrors, and also um, you've got the 532 here where it's, it's converting the 1064 to visible light in the green. The problem you run into is this mirror right here allows the 808 nanometer output to pass. It allows the 532 nanometer output to pass, which is what it's designed to do. In fact, it, it's supposed to transmit as, as much as possible of that. Um, however, it also lets some of the 1,064 nanometer light from this crystal pass. And so what happens, you've got all three wavelengths that are present in the output to, uh, to stop the other wavelengths that are not wanted, manufacturers put a filter on the front end of this arrangement so that the infrared wavelengths from the crystal here and from the diode laser are blocked while only the 532 nanometers in the visible green is passed. So that's where you get your visible green output that's approximately uh, 5 milliwatts or less for a uh, pointer. The trouble is um, Chinese manufacturers and people who uh, manufacture cheap laser pointers, they don't put a filter in there. They do it as cheaply as possible. They omit the filter. And so what you get is you get the visible green output, which you can see, but you're totally unaware of the much, much more powerful infrared wavelengths, the dangerous infrared uh, power levels that are coming from the diode laser and from this uh, crystal here um, that are also present in the output. So that's the reason the Chinese laser pointer will burn things. That's also the reason why you can put a, a filter to block the green uh, light and still see an output with an infrared camera because you've got dangerous power levels from these two lasers uh, that are still present in the output because the manufacturers did not put a filter. If they did, they didn't put a very good one. Uh, they didn't put a filter in the arrangement to block uh, the high power wavelengths out and to leave only the green. So now you see why the Chinese uh, cheap laser pointers are, uh, are dangerous, and I don't advise using them around children or pets. Or um, They're really not good for pointers at all. They're really not good. Uh, you need a, a 5 milliwatt or less visible light only laser pointer, and these things, in my opinion, are not laser pointers. They, they don't qualify, and they shouldn't be manufactured the way they are.